Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I understand. You, you need your jacket for next next week, right? Yeah, the event. No, okay. Will you have it in time? Uh, let me hold on. Just a moment. Let me check with my staff. My staff said the odds are good. All right. Thank you for calling. All right. Bye bye. Well, hello everyone. Jerry Smith here at the Blockade Runner. Thanks for stopping by today. We're going to be tackling one of the questions that we get asked all the time. How to put our wall tent up correctly and without tearing anything up. We're going to have to go outside to do this one, so come on, let's go. Well, here we are at the event, fixing to set up our large wall tent for the very first time. Here's what you should have. You should have one large wall tent, and if you got your setup kit from us, you'll have 10 sidewall poles, 10 ropes and adjusters, 22 stakes, two uprights, and your ridge pole will be in two pieces with the bolt to put it together. Okay? So the first thing we've got to do is unfold our tent. Now that you've got your wall tent spread out, you've got to make sure that the doors are tied. That's very important. So let's do that. Now that our doors are tied, this is the time to put your tent exactly where you want it, okay? Last chance, we're going to stake our corners down and lay our poles out. Now everywhere that there's a rope and a pole, we're going to put a stake about three feet out. Now don't drive it all the way in because you're probably going to be moving. So let's get those put in. Now it's time for our uprights. We're going to slide the uprights in from the side almost to the center. Now remember, our ridge pole comes in two pieces, so we've got to put that together. Now that we've got our ridge pole put together, we're going to slide it right down the center of the tent. Okay, now on our corner stakes, we're going to move those out to about a 45 degree angle. It's very helpful when we're setting the tent up, the initial setup. We'll be moving those back into more of a 90 a little later. Now that we have our corners in place, we can go ahead and set up the rest of our sidewall poles. Okay, we've got all of our sidewall poles up. Now it's time to put the ridge pole up. You gotta be careful here. Leave a little bit of slack in all your ropes. You want it drooping just a little bit. Okay? And I'm gonna show you something really important. First thing you're gonna do is untie your door. Okay? Okay, now I told you this was gonna be important. Now you know I love you like a third cousin, but I gotta call you out on this one. If you crack your upright pole right here, it's because you put too much lateral pressure on this pin. The only thing this pin does is keep the ridge pole from sliding off. So when we put it in, just like that, we're gonna lift from the ridge pole, and we're gonna put it into the peak of our tent, and we're gonna raise that. We never use the upright to lift with. That's why your poles break, okay, you ready? 
musket on my knee Across the broad Atlantic With the hopes the South to free When we came upon a Yankee ship It would rue the day With guns and cannons Okay, now it's time to go back around and tighten all your ropes up and move your stakes if you need to. Don't you cry for me now there are 12 loops on the bottom of your tent, just like this one. So now you got your tent all nice and tight, snug, go around and put those stakes in and stake your tent down on the bottom, okay? Now all of Blockade Runner's tents, the doors have two ties, inside and out. And the reason for that is in windy conditions, cold conditions, it will really stop that flapping, that cold air going through your tent. When you do set it up, if you get the one door model, make sure that the door is turned toward the street and not the back of someone else's tent. And there's one other thing. To take this thing down, be sure to do it in the exact opposite way. Get somebody to help you, grab that pole and that rid the uh, upright here and the ridge pole and ease it down. Once it's on the ground, piece of cake. You got it from there. But now here's a couple of tips for you about how to keep it in good shape. Probably the most important is always put your tent up dry, okay? If you leave the vent and your tent's wet, take it home, put it in your garage, put it anywhere you can, and just lay it out and let it dry out good. After that, fold it up and put it away. It'll never mill be on you then. All right, uh, the other thing, here's a really common mistake a lot of people do. Now, during the day, you'll have a really bad yapping dog aggravating the heck out of you. Okay, during the day, when the sun hits your tent, it's going to get a lot of slack in the rope because that canvas is expanding. And the most natural thing in the world to want to do is go out there and pull those ropes tight. That's all well and good until nightfall comes, it cools off 20 degrees, and the dew falls on it. If the stake doesn't come out of the ground, it will literally rip the corner off your tent, or at least pull the ground itself. And I don't care whose tent you got, it'll do that. They just, it's that strong. Enjoy your tent.